Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today with the launch of Season 4 Reloaded in Warzone MW2 and DMZ, we got a brand new weapon. We got a brand new shotgun, the MX Guardian. And if you saw the preview for this thing, if you saw the promo for it and how Call of Duty was describing this for all like its blog posts and stuff, they were like, hey, KV Broadside, good shotgun. MX Guardian's going to be the new king. Like, they were already hyping it up to be crazy broken. Day one, they've restricted it in all the ranked play modes for multiplayer and Warzone. This thing is pretty wild to say the least and today we're breaking down the overall setup for it tips to unlock it everything you need to know about the mx guardian and curiously enough unlike every other weapon that we've seen for mid-season updates this one actually starts with the battle pass usually the battle pass just features new weapons at the start of the season but as we know we had the classified tab here on the season four pass and now that's turned into the mx guardian tab and this is how you actually access this so when you go into the sector itself you'll see you've got four different normal tabs then you've got the mx guardian tab first things first you have to complete all four of these smaller tabs initially and then you got to do the mx guardian tab and to complete these tabs it's just straight up very simple challenges get 10 ads operator kills with shotguns get 10 hip fire operator kills with shotguns get 10 headshot operator kills with shotguns get 10 one shot operator kills with sh uh, shotguns this is super straightforward and super simple. Shipment 24-7 is a playlist right now. Jump into that. It's only going to be shotguns in the kill feed. It's absolute misery, but straight up, it's the easiest way to get these challenges done. I actually got all these done in one game just using the uh, KV broadside and then also the Lockwood with slug grounds. I just switched between those two. The one shots were the most annoying ones. And then outside of that, all this other stuff is super easy and super simple, right? And then after you get all four of those done, you can get the last one, which is the MX Guardian unlock. Get 30 point blank operator kills with shotguns, which again, just go into shipment 24 7 be up close and personal use a shotgun kv broadside with firearms is probably like the go-to option there because you can just spam it of course and then you get those 30 you'll have this unlocked right away and then you go through you level it up you'll be good to go and you can customize it as needed also post edit zach here as far as actually leveling up the mx guardian quickly goes if you've got double weapon xp tokens of course throw those on but I found Grind, whenever I was playing that, I was just in the shipment 24-7 playlist, but Grind is a mode specifically. Play the objective a little bit, get some tags, mega bank those with your MX Guardian out, you level up super quickly. It took me like three games to go from level one to level 10, and then a game and a half to go from 10 to 20. So Grind is the mode that I would probably recommend the most based off of my experience there. That said, we go into our actual setup here, and well, safe to say this thing lives up to all the promo. It is absolutely the number one shotgun right now between multiplayer and the close range meta in Warzone. This, if you want to use a shotgun, is going to be the go-to because it's so unlike anything else. Other shotguns, they either require you to be super accurate so they can have that higher damage kill, that one-shot kill in multiplayer or the very quick armor break in Warzone, or it's like the KV Broadside, which is more spammable. With that one, you obviously have to deal with manually. It's uh, semi-auto. You have to manually spam it. This thing, you can go all in, just full out, spam it, full auto. It's insane. Now, its range kind of sucks. Straight up, we can jump right into the gunsmith before we break down the actual setup here, and you'll see this is uh, a 10 meter away bot. And you can see, you might look at that and say, what? Nah, this thing's going to be trash. But 10 meters isn't the range where this thing's broken. It's 5 meters. It's 2 meters. When you're up close and personal and you're doing that, it uh, it gets pretty ridiculous, right? And you got 15 rounds and the quick reload here you saw, I mean, this thing is going to be niche for like the 0 to 5 meter range, right? But if you're in that range nothing is going to beat you. So let's talk the actual loadout here between multiplayer and Warzone. As we get into this quick reminder, if you're new here every day, I got you covered with all things going on in COD, news, updates, loadouts, tips, you name it. It's all right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button. Join us on the road to a million subs. And if you guys enjoy this video, if you find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it as well. Also, if you're jumping into some season four reloaded action here, leveling up the shotgun, maybe diving into some new uh, Vondel Battle Royale, grinding out some stuff in rank, do yourself a favor, pick up some G Fuel. Right now, Code Immortal is going to get you 20 to 30% off basically everything on the site. If you're looking to pick up a new tub, Code Immortal's got you with that 30% discount. If you're looking around for maybe some cans or something extra, 20% off of all of that as well. Really appreciate all you guys using the code. The more it's used, the better the chance of us getting a shaker re-release one day maybe, or even our very own flavor as well. If you guys want to take advantage of that increased discount, throw in Code Immortal at checkout. Link for that will be down in the description below. Anyways, with the MX Guardian, this is the setup that I've been running and pretty much as is with all shots 
shotguns here. Uh, I run the same setup in multiplayer in Warzone. And while that doesn't really ever stand true for the majority of other weapons in the game, with shotguns in multiplayer and in Battle Royale or Resurgence, you're using them in the exact same way up close and that's it and like i said this thing is usable in five meters six meters seven meters but as you saw with a dummy that's 10 meters away even there it's not nearly going to be as effective whereas up close and personal goodbye see in the gulag see in the pre-game lobby right so it's going to be the same setup that actually spans both modes which is nice and convenient you don't have to worry too much about that initially i'm going for the mx pro mag this is pretty straightforward it's going to keep your ammo count the same with 15 rounds which is plenty to spam but it helps out with that ads speed and then also that sprint to fire speed now that said i wouldn't really recommend adsing this as much i think you can get away with hip firing it and it's going to be absolutely nuts you don't have to worry about that added ads time but the sprint to fire here is really the bonus that we care about and that's what we're going after uh, mainly now I do go for a one barrel in particular this is the mobile barrel because this actually helps out with movement speed and your damage range a little bit then hip fire accuracy is an added bonus you're going to be hip firing with this thing so that's nice but I don't think that's going to have a huge impact on the overall setup but really here you can tune for that added damage range which can help out in certain fights be the difference maker in a life or death scenario you get to keep that streak or you have to respawn right then i go for steadiness this left slider doesn't really matter all that much now i do go for the ulo 66 laser this is going to be a hip fire laser that pretty much just makes it a little bit easier to spam that it helps out that hip fire control then also the hip fire accuracy and i tune for the better hip fire control and then also a slightly better sprint to fire as well no optic needed here obviously you're not adsing so that's not a huge deal i go for the dcp zero stock this is also going to be great for uh playing aggressive better sprint speed better crouch movement speed aim walking speed ads speed so if you're someone who is going to ads this build this will help out there but just standard with the better movement speed and whatnot that's also really nice now the sliders here for the bottom one aim walking speed or stability that doesn't really matter all that much but getting a better ads speed out of that tune on the left is a little bit nice then just find the face cam here if i go ahead and i hide this you'll see i've got the xrk rush rear grip this is just straight up meant for better ads and sprint to fire once more we're really just focused on that sprint to fire benefit there but we tune for that we also tune for the slightly better uh ads speed as well and this setup in particular it really just increases the overall aggressiveness of the weapon i guess you could say you're going to be able to fly and fry with this thing it's going to have really good mobility once you start jumping around hip firing this thing and using that strafe like that's what makes this thing so dominant i feel like uh, compared to other weapons is you're going to be using an uh, smg and you're going to be adsing and strafing which is a little bit slower with this thing you're spamming from the hip moving left to right jumping around maybe going prone in certain cases it's going to be hard to track and trace you and you're just going to be blasting away and that's what makes this thing so dominant in those close range fights hey so post edit zach here yet again i know the two in one in one video rare for sure uh, but anyways for what it's worth there is the trigger action area in the attachment setup as well and that is, basically allows you to change between full auto semi-auto or burst fire and if you go away from the default of full auto into semi-auto or burst fire it does feel like it changes up the ranges a little bit but also i feel like what makes this so powerful as a shotgun is its spammability up close so while it might change up the range a tad bit again i still feel like what I said in this video stands true being up close and personal and just being able to lay out 15 rounds like it's nothing with this thing is what makes it so broken so you might be wondering is it worth going into semi-auto is it worth going into burst in my opinion at least from what I played and what I tested with it you're gonna get the easiest success and the most success just spamming that thing in full auto this is not gonna be fun to run into if you're playing multiplayer if you're playing warzone luckily it is banned and ranked for both modes but it's something that is going to be a problem but only in those super close range fights this is not something that's going to be just absolutely insane at 20 meters eliminating opponents like it's nothing you do have to be up in the enemy's face but those are things that happen a lot if you're playing Warzone, you know late game and that zone is super small or even uh in multiplayer if you're an aggressive player you're gonna find yourself in those situations a lot and uh as we internet explorer load into the weapon animation here that is why this thing is uh pretty much insane right now insane but niche i would say that's gonna wrap things up though if you guys enjoyed the video if you found it helpful let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications to always stay up to date with all things going on in cod but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day i'll catch you guys later peace out